The Holy Trinity of God Explained In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was of God, and the Word was God. What that means is in the very beginning of time, space, the beginning of anything, everything, there was only God. And God did not exist in the form that we know him in, that the Bible speaks of. And Jesus did not exist then. Only the Holy Spirit of God existed. Then God chose a form with eyes like fire, long white hair, kind of like Socrates. Then, after he took form, then he created the Son. The Word made flesh brought forth of God. When you're talking of God, you're talking part God. You're talking part of God. So that is why he is likened unto God. He is not likened unto man. It's not for us to say, you know, he's like King David, King Solomon. No, there is nothing like the Son. If you ask me, do I believe in God? I would say to you, do you believe in humans? And then you would mock me and laugh. And I would say, so you believe in tiny microscopic organisms that exist temporarily on a spinning floating planet in infinite space, which means you are so microscopic, you're like microbes. So your lives don't matter, but you deny God. Well, no wonder you deny God if you think that you're a talking insect who crawled out of a pond of slime and evolved into an insect and a salamander, then squirrel or whatever. Without God, there is no hope. So accept Jesus, the Son of the Almighty. As Jesus said, there is only one worthy of all praise, and that is God. And when Jesus' the disciples asked him, when is the end? When is the final hour of judgment? Jesus said, no man nor the angels in heaven know of that hour. Not even the Son, but only the Father. He didn't say, I know and I'm not telling you. He said, I don't know. That right there shows you that he's not God. He is part of God, so he is likened unto God, and we should think of him as like God. And then people like in Catholics would say, well, wait a second. He said, uh, when you've seen me, you've seen God. Yes, what he meant was you've seen proof of God. Without God, there is no hope for us. We all must take our, our own cross and bear our own burdens. But if you ask Jesus for help and you pray to God earnestly, genuinely, lovingly, your path will be blessed no matter what. This world cannot do anything about that. Of course, I'm a Steelers fan. I see the world in a better light than some of you. Huh? I'm just kidding. God bless you all and love you.